Hello, Internet. Hello. Hello. The tweet went out. I saw it. Okay, good. Um, yeah, I saw it too. Right off the bat, I want to warn viewers that there is photosensitive stuff in this stream, so if that's going to bother you, I would advise you to watch another one, maybe. Sorry. Um, it was just at the beginning that I saw it. I don't know if it's in here prevalently, but I want to be safe than sorry. Um, so yeah, welcome to the Labyrinth of Time, which is a maze game. And you all know how much I love mazes. <laughs> is it amazing? Oh, God. Uh, I have Nick with me. Hello, Nick. Hello. Hey. And I have Phoben joining us on Hello. Stream of Browns for the first time. Yeah. Yay! Woo! I'm super excited to get really lost. <laughs> uh, Phoben is one of our wonderful mods. So... Um, all right. And has been for a while. Yeah. Right? I think it's been you almost were... a year. Yeah. Time flies. Thank you for all of your your hard your hard work yes. as a mod. Which well, the chat sounds... makes it very easy on me. Aww. <laughs> Aww. All right. I mean, you know, like it sounds like I'm. It sounds like a platitude, but like it's not easy, you know, being the tank for the whole chat. <laughs> you Thankfully, know? we have like an army of mods. Of like, <laughs> That's true. Yeah, yeah. Every time I go in another chat, I'm always just like, "Oh, you guys, you need like ten times more mods than you have." <laughs> yeah. That's the secret to Twitch chat is just having like a fleet, a fleet. of moderators. Yeah. Oh, and the screen is supposed to be black audience chat um <laughs> because yeah, this game kind of yeah. doesn't give a shit and just starts no going. menu no anything just just <laughs> so uh i guess let's start this up worm keep energy and look down the logo <laughs> some <laughs> ms paint shit right there let me know how volume is in chat multi well guys it's really, this it's really game funny has how... multiple medias whoa <laughs> It's funny how crummy that logo kind of looked because this game is like really high production for the time with all this 3D stuff. A long it's like this 2D work. drawing. Not even sure what day it is. Your calendar says it's Friday. The days all seem pretty much the same anymore. <laughs> Friday, the end of the week. You know that all you have to look forward to is a long, uneventful weekend at home. The prospect is not exciting. Oh, you should get some video games, buddy. <laughs> This is 1997. It was. They, they had video games in nine. They had. Uh, we, they had some really good video games. Actually, in Actually, I don't know when the game was set. So who, who's to say? <laughs> uh, I mean, it's the labyrinth of time. So who knows? Yeah. Lots of ennui. You descend into the guts of the subway station. With any luck, the train won't break down tonight. It never seems to break down on your way to work. Only on the way home. Wow. Don't go in the guts. That's <laughs> gross. Dull chrome and gray shadows. You keep wondering what's wrong with the city or with you. You buy your ticket. That that guy Those standing people. at the locker. <laughs> yeah. The guy in the far that's on so the far funny. left standing at the locker. Yeah. That is that's my brother. That's just my brother. <laughs> he looks <laughs> exactly like my brother. You should ask your brother if he did like photography at a subway. <laughs> I don't think so. I mean, but the thing is that's also not what he looked like in 1997 <laughs> or whatever this game was made, so... According to Wikipedia, it was 1993, which seems really early. Oh. Wikipedia. Oh, wow. He, that's definitely not what he looked like in 93. <laughs> uh, this is where it's gonna flash. Photosensitive warning. As you enter, you feel strange. Suddenly you feel as though you're being pulled in a direction you never knew existed. This is where the lights come on. Once there, you seem to be pulled inside out. The world itself seems to be changing. You reach for something to hold on to, but there's nothing there! <gasps> <gasps> Whoa. Where's this guy? <laughs> oh. I like your tiara. I li yeah, that's good. Yeah, I like his outfit. I don't know about the pattern, but... 
I'm sorry to rip you from your yeah. li normal life, mortal. I have no choice. My name is Daedalus. When I was alive long ago in your world, I was the master craftsman of the ancient world. I'm a spirit now, for ages I have dreamed in the land of the dead. They look like dragon lore models, don't they, Nick? Yes, totally do. <laughs> yeah. I once served King Minos of Crete for him. Okay, too fast. The spirit of Minos is calling oh, man. a judge of the dead. Now he hopes to return to the land of the living. Wow, this is like the actual labyrinth. Oh boy. He has enslaved me and now I'm building a new labyrinth for him. I can neither refuse nor escape. You must help me. If I complete the new labyrinth, the power of Minos will be unstoppable. This new labyrinth is not oh. a simple maze. I am far more powerful than I was in life, and what Minos has made me build is unique. Outside of space and time. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> He will use the power of the labyrinth to conquer all of space and time. <laughs> How's that work? Oh no! <laughs> Look at this I'm guy! I'm sorry, Daedalus. <laughs> it's shaking his head. The first mortal I could reach. <laughs> his face looks like it's made out of Play-Doh. Uh-huh. <laughs> like Play-Doh that needs to be smoothed over a little bit more. <laughs> I can't... Is that shadows on the bottom, or does he have like, does he, does he have a literal five o'clock shadow or a figurative five o'clock shadow? I think it's supposed <laughs> to be shadowy. This may be awkward and frightening. That's a good uh, stream friends this time, right? <laughs> it's not a dull nor great though. Whoa. Whoa, color has come into our lives. Oh God. Everybody. Okay. I guess this is already the maze. Oh boy. Is that? Is that a billboard on the left for the developer of the game? It looks like it. Okay, so... <laughs> I like this game already. Does it say Joe Butler City? <laughs> Wait, I thought it just Joe... said Joe Butt. <laughs> Joe Butt? <laughs> Joe Butt for City, City Council. Council. <laughs> Whoa. It's got my vote. Okay. Save slots. Whoa. Save. Game. Vote. Butt. Guys, you don't have to put a texture on everything. Help. Yeah, this is kind of board board. Oh my god, what it okay. I mean I'm trying to figure out what buttons do. Take, move, open, close, look at. Isis oh. imports new world development. Yeah, you guys were right. <laughs> um Bring forth the winds of change. Vote but for <laughs> city council. <laughs> wow, there is a there is a map. Oh wow. Oh, so we have to helpful. draw one? No, actually, I don't. No, it just looks like we just one. have one. <laughs> but we can't use it at all. <laughs> that's useful. Oh. <laughs> A 25 cent coin. Oh, we have two of those. That coin's from 1949. I don't know what this oh, one is. It's like a maze button. I don't know what that one does. <laughs> That's the no. That's the play choo choo rocket button. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Starting the saves early. That's good. <laughs> wow, yeah. I like how there's three separate tabs for like saves six through ten. That's okay. That's a weird. Uh... All right, so we can turn this way. Uh... Oh, we're actually on the subway. Oh, wow, God. I was misreading that. Oh. Let's get back on the car, okay. What? And then... Okay, there is a map, but I'm not gonna look okay, at it, because we should just draw our own. <laughs> oh, jeez. So, at the end of this stream, we'll I'll put up our maps on Twitter. <laughs> oh. Hey, I'm back. Skype just crashed. Oh, no, me. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Okay, good, right we back, can't go so south. Thankful. I started drawing mine at the bottom of my page, so... Oh, okay. <laughs> if we had to go south, I would have been screwed. Uh, yeah, alright. Subway. I'm just... Gonna... Yeah, wait, is this gonna be multiple ma mazes? I don't know how that's no just no clue. Work. Subway. I mean, I saw a review on GOG that just said one big maze, so that's what I was promised. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just go this way. We went north. Uh... Uh... Okay. Well... <laughs> you don't say. Okay, dokie. 
This is... That seems to be a bottomless pit. <laughs> <laughs> seems to be. I mean, I Why are... What? Why do they put a bottomless pit in... <laughs> I have no idea. Vote butt, and I will fill the bottom, fill in the bottomless <laughs> pit in the subway system. Bottom, cryptic bottomless pits are tearing our city apart. <laughs> <laughs> Should we go north or south? <laughs> I went south. <laughs> oh shit! Well, oh, okay. sorry. I to open that. For sorry. Wow. It's okay. We'll just do you screen wrap to my other page. That. <laughs> screen wrap. <laughs> I'll just start drawing on the top of the other page. Door appears to be stuck. Well. Okay. I like how that's after the game sashed you and told you to open the door first. I know. Uh, and then, oh, I, oops, I didn't mean to do that. What was the last word? Oops. Ah. DSHS <laughs> says, I want an adventure game that's one big King's Quest style desert. Uh, I'm pretty <laughs> sure that's what this is. That's pretty. Actually. I have good news. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, we're in a hotel now. What? what? Oh. Wait, which way did we go? <laughs> we went west. Oh, God. I'm already way behind <laughs> on the map. Wait, is this just one west? I guess. <laughs> So... <laughs> what? Okay. God. What status thought this game up? <laughs> 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 Alright, um... Oh my God. I just love that planning meeting. What if we made a game that's just one big maze? Okay, that's back I'm outside. I'm already super lost. <laughs> so, oh my god, let's look at... Um, I'm just gonna <laughs> peek at... Okay. Oh, so oh. that's not nice. quite what I have, but <laughs> how does everyone's map look so far? <laughs> I wasn't, I wasn't that far off, actually. Yeah, good. <laughs> Same. All right. Yeah, totally. <laughs> All right. It doesn't help that there's like no like contiguity between areas in any thematic way. I know, like why? It's like you're in a train, now you're in a hotel. I don't understand, like... Now you're in a big brick Well, it's because... It's because the time. Labyrinth... Like, Minos wants to copy all of time... Or, copy. Conquer. Right. All of time and space, so... Starting with this hotel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, I mean... Look. You gotta start somewhere. That somewhere apparently is just... A... a Hotel in the 1930s in Arkansas. Oh my god! I, I can't. I can. I cannot. This. <laughs> why did I do this to myself? Whoa! <laughs> oh. What? We found the Triforce. We found the Triforce. <laughs> Jinx. What? That's like the Tri Triforce. That seems to be a yeah. bottomless pit. I don't know where the hell we are. <laughs> I'm freaking out right now. Laundry. All right, and now we're getting somewhere. Jump in the laundry chute. Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, I thought you went. Oh. <laughs> Why can't I? It's do already this? open. I want to go in there. It's like, a, it's like a use button. Take note. I can't move it. I could just open it. So we got to get some laundry, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> <laughs> the quest for laundry. Uh, let me see if I can get back to where we were, so I can do my map right, but... <laughs> my map Cap is steps. already just fucked. Yeah, same. Yeah, I I gave up. <laughs> yeah, let, let's... Fuck this map. <laughs> the game is I'm getting just, excited. I'm already just doodling <laughs> where my map should have been. We reminded Hab Dabs that they have laundry downstairs. Good. <laughs> we, uh, provide so. a good service here on Stream Friends. Have dabs with the math jokes Mandel brought for us. <laughs> oh, hey, there's Whoa, your clown. Hey. Ugh. I, I'm not about this. <laughs> you know, I don't think I want to enter. Oh, I think oh. he's cute. See, Morgan the Magician, he... Hold on. He knows <laughs> all, he tells all. Alright, let's just... Ask him why we're playing this game. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it on, on GOG oh. when it first came out. I'm like, I have to buy that and play it on Stream Friends.
Wait, are we in Atlantis now? We're in a mirror maze. I don't- This is like the circus? <laughs> that laugh. Is the worst. <laughs> That's like the Nurstein Beckler laugh in Chrono Trigger. Like the <laughs> Kefka laugh. I don't know, that one's kind of... Those are... Both of those are actually charming. This is just... <laughs> some guy in a microphone. <laughs> like, not even... Like... Oh my god. That's It's just the most half-assed laugh. Hey Bill, we need a laugh for the... <laughs> You laugh for the clown part of the game. <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> Laughing at this uh, tin can. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, <laughs> my brain cannot comprehend how what we just saw translates into those squares. It's Morgan. Oh, we have quarters. Hey. Damn it! Hey, buddy. Oh, we do have quarters. Yeah. Let's ask him to make us a kid. Make me young Tom Hanks. I want to be big. You will wish you had that coin back. Fuck you, oh. Morgan. <laughs> oh, wow. Fuck off, Morgan. The future is what the past has made it great. Wow. Uh, I need to use click that hammer button. Smash him. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Morgan. Had, like a heartbeat noise. Yeah, Ooh. what the fuck is that? I can't wait till we get to the department store maze and then we can dance on the giant piano. <laughs> <laughs> and you have to play heart and soul on the piano to get out. Yeah. <laughs> That's the puzzle. This is. I like this map system actually, it's not confusing. I mean, at least they tell you which way you're facing yeah. all the time. Like, this is actually not bad. Waste of time! Wow. Ooh. With what? A chainsaw? <laughs> <laughs> Leave that alone! <laughs> you failed to move it. The game's getting angry at us. I, I don't know suit. if... I don't know if this game really wants to call anything we're doing in it a co like I don't I don't know if it should admit that <laughs> anything we're doing is a complete waste of time <laughs> in this game. Yeah. Ah! What is that? Oh, oh. oh geez. Hey, buddy. Hey. Oh, hey. I don't want to. I don't want to hug. <laughs> Give me a hug. <laughs> Open the clothes. Close. <laughs> close. I can't do anything. Close his arms. Okay. Hi. <laughs> I feel like we should have a use button that's just not there. Uh, yeah, so we just have like move and pick up and that's it. Playing an adventure game without a use button is like really freaking me out. <laughs> There's another one of whatever this is. It's like a TARDIS computer. Yeah. I'm honestly really glad for this map. Like, if King's Quest had this, <laughs> I would have been way less pissed off. <laughs> See, the problem is gonna come when it's like an entire page of just those squares uh -huh. and you're trying to go back to a specific room. <laughs> True, you're right. Oh god, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Because you can't label the map. Uh, well. Like, can you tell me which one of those squares is the laundry room? Fuck no. Because <laughs> I can't. But at least we know where the, oops, where the dead ends are, I guess. Yeah. Like, that's something. But you're right, I don't know how to get out of here. <laughs> There's been nothing interesting in here at all. <laughs> <laughs> Blue Nerosi in the chat says, The torch is dying. It is dark. You may be eaten by the insane clown boss. <laughs> <laughs> Early in the chat, they uh, compared it to Shadowgate. It's like, oh, God, I hope not. Oh. <laughs> that means we're going to die a lot. 
Oh, I, I, I like. Go ahead, Mike. Shadowgate is probably a better game, and I realize what I'm saying there. <laughs> I actually thought that new Shadowgate was pretty cool. The old one is. Oof. That's a game for people who had all day to play games. Yeah. I, uh. I peeked at a walkthrough just to see how long this game was. And, um. It's not that long, A. And B, in the walkthrough, they said you can't die. Okay. Oh, well, that's good. Yes. Some people in the reviews said that it's possible to, like, screw yourself and, like,. Some way, like if you do the wrong thing, you can make it impossible to progress. Or like if you don't pick something up, like I don't a million years yeah. before. I don't think this is the same map anymore. What do you mean? <laughs> I think I it might have like a different the... one for each like area. Yeah, I bet it goes off to the right oh. there. Yep. Okay. Yeah. There's gotta be uh. something interesting in here, right? <laughs> I mean, you need to go down. True. Yeah, let's do that. Boom. Boom. I have a really poor, <laughs> like, maze memory. Habdab says, you can't <laughs> die. Sounds like a threat coming from this <laughs> game. <laughs> you could never die. Look, there are, there are things worse than death. Yeah, didn't uh, Daedalus say that he can't even die? Or did he say, yeah. I can't escape and I can't... Yeah, he, he can't escape and he can't He's already dead, I guess. Yeah, he's a he's a ghost maze maker. <laughs> That's a fun job. It's my worst nightmare. <laughs> oh no. What? DSHS points out that the giving the fortune teller the quarter <laughs> might have actually Fuck already yourself by... <laughs> Probably. Maybe, Maybe I should look up those. Oh look. Nah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Look, I'm out of the maze. Hey, you're in a new what area. Do? Oh, you buttons. Found... I guess use is just clicking on stuff. You found mist, apparently. Oh, great. That's not for you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, so that didn't... Okay. This music is not bad. Very, uh, impressive. I think we need something to put in here. That I don't have. <laughs> a quarter? Probably a fucking quarter. <laughs> DSHS7 says, It did say you would regret it. You're right. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I'm gonna be so mad if that's the case. I wonder if now we can just go like this. Damn! Of course not. Okay. It's okay, we'll just go... Yeah, it'd be nice if you just like, click go... a square and the other. You need to go all the way around every time. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, <laughs> this was definitely for people who um, had a lot of time. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, like it... Provided a lot of gameplay for your Tr buck, true. I, I guess. True, true. <laughs> Blue Neurosis in the chat mentions the Journeyman Project, which I really need to replay. I only played the second one, there's three of them. <laughs> I've have... actually had people tell me that those are still good, actually. I really liked the second one. They're kind of like Mist, but with a little bit more FMV. <laughs> nice. I don't know, they're, they're great. Right. They're like time travel games. I... You could die in them, though, unlike Mist, so that was... The deaths tended to be really goofy, too. Did you give both the quarters to the... I did. Mandarin? <laughs> Wait, what was his name? Morgan? Morgan. Can you actually just not interact with anything in this game? I don't or? Think so. Like, what, what if you filled all these rooms with really interesting stuff and then didn't let the player touch any of it? <laughs> <laughs> It's like a museum of video game. Like, what is the point? Oops. Wait, can you open that closet? It's locked. 
Okay. That's cool. <laughs> That's a pretty sweet dragon. These people do not want to be disturbed. We're in a fucking There's time and space maze! Who's staying in this hotel?! <laughs> <laughs> That's for my noses. True, he's sleeping. I hope she doesn't come in here. <laughs> <laughs> I like that we weren't gendered at the beginning. That was nice. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, it's true. Oh. Evil bathtub. Creek. There's gotta be something in the bathtub. Wow, a pole chain toilet. I don't think this is set in modern times. <laughs> it's set in all time. Is there a key in the toilet? Oh. Great. Flushable toilet. <laughs> the only interactive thing in this whole game was the toilet. <laughs> the toilet. <laughs> Probably just flushed a key down the toilet. It's probably a metaphor. Yep. <laughs> There's another quarter in there. <laughs> I think it's really silly that there's no, like, use button. But whatever. I guess just clicking on stuff is. I don't know. What are those. I mean, what are the buttons on the, the two on the left? Um, this one is take and this one is. Oh, move. that one's take. Okay. This is open. I guess. Close, look. I guess move is kind of used. I don't know. Yeah. Star exists. Like what, what I mean, a lot of the times. Toilet? Go ahead, Nick. Um, a lot of the times when you're clicking on stuff, you're still on the open mm. uh, button. What was it that made the toilet flush? Was that move? Move. It didn't do it when I just uh, clicked normally. <laughs> Well, we appear, we appear <laughs> well, to have explored uh, everywhere we can. <laughs> thanks for joining us, everyone. No, I'm gonna look up a walkthrough. <laughs> <laughs> uh, first thing to answer this text message. <laughs> you said the game wasn't game. very long. I was kind of like, well, it probably takes like 20 minutes if you know how to get probably. through the maze. Probably. Um, but yeah, there were two game facts on it. I'm looking at it. I'm just picturing a walkthrough for this game. Go up, go left, oh. go right. <laughs> also, Pull the chain, it, go back. <laughs> it's also nice that... Um, Whatever you do, don't flush the toilet. <laughs> don't give the wizard your coins. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> um, oh yeah, Starx earlier said, you need to find a lion and a witch to open the wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> Also, if anyone's interested, you can get this on your iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> really? They re-released it in uh, 2009, I think the Wikipedia article said. Everyone's just shutting off the stream right now to go rat run <laughs> crack their iPhones. <laughs> I mean, in 1993, this probably would have been pretty cool. Just like the, how it all looks, probably mm. would have blown me. But it doesn't feel interactive enough in a lot of places. I mean, I bet Space I is too base like. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's probably because animating any of the like CG shit probably cost a ton of money. Oh, there's an elevator. Oh, this is, a, this is a jam. Okay. <laughs> I like this music. Yeah. Yeah, this is good. Some Donkey Kong Country shit. <laughs> yeah, kinda. This is a good song. The, is mu this, uh, the music is really good. Are we in a water level? Yeah. <laughs> it's like an underwater ice level. Jones, comma, ice cream says, Hello, I am a 1993 time traveler. What is this masterpiece? <laughs> <laughs> this is 
1993 game of the year. Okay, we gotta find <laughs> the Labyrinth of Time. We need to find the elevator. Which is uh, west from the clown. Or, yeah. Hmm. Which clown? Mm, yeah, the, the one that was laughing at us. The one with the face. <laughs> oh, bad clown. Right, okay. Oh, the... What? What do you mean nothing huh? happened? Press move on Maybe. the panel on the wall. What? Oh, I see what it. Panel? Right here. Oh. Ding! <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Second floor, housewares, skeletons, <laughs> evil clowns. <laughs> okay, let's just explore. Whoa. Hey, it's Manny's office. <laughs> Why is it? Messages from... for me. What is it? It's me. I want it. I don't like- Complete waste of energy. This is an adventure game I can't pick anything up. <laughs> <laughs> this is the worst. <laughs> that door's Sleet locked too. Torture. Everything's locked, you can't pick anything up. <laughs> what a nightmare. What is this shit? Uh, what? what movie you theater? Movie theater? What? Do you think you can fly? Is that a rhetorical question? That is a- uh... That is some wallpaper. Yeah, yeah, this is, uh... Quite the thing. I don't understand the layout Pick of... Pick up wallpaper. <clears throat> oh my god. I really hope the microphone is not picking up the dog barking incessantly. I can't hear it. I don't... Outside. Okay, good. It says there's a... It says we can go this way. You ought to open that. Door. That brick wall is sealed pretty tight. <laughs> you ought to open the wall? <laughs> <laughs> what about that little window? Uh, no. I guess it doesn't see it as a different... Okay, okay. These... These, like... The, uh... It says there's a pathway. Can't... What, Nick? The, uh, the you can't do that messages in this game are They're really snarky. <laughs> yeah, this game's kind of a dick. <laughs> Lounge. Ooh, what? This is not the best. What? I don't get it. <laughs> oh. Okay. Let's go into this cave. A dim tunnel! <laughs> what? <laughs> sure. I'm gonna save again. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably a good call. That save interface is so weird. I still don't understand what those icons on the far right are. The other menu, like, swirls. Oh, it'll, um... It, it was just in this walkthrough, it'll cycle through your inventory options. Items? Uh, okay. Wow. What? Woo! What? Uh. Should... Okay, looks like we're gonna go to a kaleidoscope. Stand by, everyone. <laughs> Here's time. What? Get okay. We're another train. We're car. in the last express now. Where is everybody? So. <laughs> I really like surreal and weird things. Uh huh. Um, and I really like being confused, but this game is even making me... Like, the the changes in environments... It's so abrupt. It's giving me whiplash, yeah. yeah. I mean, I get that it's supposed to be abrupt, but like... There's like no transition to it at all, so it's right. like... Right. It's not even, like, oftentimes it's not even like you're going out a door, necessarily. It's just... 
There's you turn a... around and you're somewhere else. There's a cute little house. <laughs> house? Okay. Or no, I'm sorry. Ticket. That's tickets. Oh, I guess this is like the, yeah, the station. That looked like a house. Now we're in the old <laughs> west. <laughs> I think I. Why not? I think I made that room when I was in my uh, 3D modeling 101 class. Oh yeah. I think I drew this maze in my fifth grade notebook. <laughs> it's like something that, like like middle school. And then there's an old west part, and then you go in a hotel. What is any of anything? Can't take the booze. Please tell me I can take this. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, thank God! Oh, no. I'm gonna drink all of this. All right, <laughs> let's just drink yeah. ourselves unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> the only way out. Cemetery. Oh, the music got really intense. Cemetery. <laughs> I hope a CG skeleton pops out. Only man scientists and archaeologists are allowed to do that. <laughs> When I tried to open the grave. <laughs> Annie Cooper, 1860 to 1881. John Doe, 1971. Apparently, he was never born. I guess not. Big Earl Ardry, 1854 to 1875. And Mad Dog Madigan, at a coming. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wait a minute. <laughs> Blue Neuroses in the chat just said Mad Dog should be peeking out of a wall soon. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if that's a Mad Whoa. Dog McCree uh, poke. I mean, they Oops. they would have just called it Mad Dog McCree instead of Mad Dog. Maybe they were, were scared of, of dogs, uh, whoever did Mad Dog McCree. <laughs> Maybe. Also, I don't think that game is that old. Mad Dog McCree? Yeah. I remember my parents playing it when I was little. The Daily <laughs> Bullet? Starks in the chat says the only person to live past 21 was Mad Dog. <laughs> I knew you killed everyone else to get there. Oh no, it came out in 1990, so... Here we go. Arcade. Now we're getting somewhere. what I do? <laughs> Acme Press. I press something. Can I? No. Okie dokie. That's not for you. April 30th! Dun dun dun. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Sheriff! Oops. Wanted Will Wild Man Daniels, Fred or Alive. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? What? Fred or Alive. Fred? Fred. What do you mean that's not for me? I want it. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> Aha! Ah. A brass key. I bet it opens this. What if it opens the closet in the hotel? It probably fucking does. <laughs> You're oh <right>. god! <laughs> Fuck! There's another key in there to open the jail cell. <laughs> You're right. You're oh. right. It doesn't fucking. Oh feel god! <laughs> you did this to us. I wish I hadn't said that. Oh boy! You're fucking kidding me. Okay. <laughs> Oops. A mine car. That's not a lock. I I really love like <laughs> early 3D render renders mm. where everything has one light source. Uh -huh. Yeah, and that's it. <laughs> and like it's and it's almost all like spotlights too. Like it's never like <laughs> a global light source and then <clears throat> you know a couple of softer spotlights or something. It's just always... <laughs> One floodlight. <laughs> yeah. Like, I mean, yeah, like, look at those shadows. Like, it's always... And, like, 
part of that was totally on purpose because it was just like we can make shadows look at the shadows they're dramatic <laughs> guys we figured out how to make a light source <laughs> <laughs> what if we had two we can't have two <laughs> ever I drank the whiskey and it says you feel more <laughs> cheerful but less intelligent <laughs> oh, I didn't need that for anything it says in the water oh, that, that you didn't <laughs> Wait, so one of the only items that we could pick up was useless? Correct, yes. <laughs> God damn it. Return to the eleva uh, elevator lobby in the hotel. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. You know how to get back there, right? Uh, I'm just gonna follow some stuff. <laughs> Wait, is this town called Revolver Springs? It is, indeed. Oh, let's go through the kaleidoscope again. That's, I guess, supposed to be when we time travel? Sure. Let's go with that. Nick, you're right, it does unlock the wardrobe. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's fine, we're almost there. I really, I really wish I wasn't. <laughs> so genre savvy. <laughs> The other thing in the GOG reviews that came up a lot was like, there's a lot of backtracking in this game. <laughs> like, well... It's like the... it's That's the other, like, artificial way to lengthen something. Yeah. This was in... This was when backtracking was still okay, though. Right. Shush clown. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And then eventually it swung completely in the other direction, and then backtracking was like a mortal sin <laughs> all the time, no matter how you, how or why you did it. If, if you had to go back over a section of a game for any reason, <laughs> even if it was yeah. totally different the second time, Oops. it was, uh, it was lazy game developers. <laughs> Nobody ever revisits locations in real life. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to lock it again. <laughs> <laughs> the key shatters. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. What's in here? Ooh. A journal. And a postcard. You take the card key, you take the card. journal. Okay. Is there anything else in here? No. Can I look at that stuff? Ooh! A story! Okay. Mm. <laughs> He's got a handwriting. This is set in 2012, maybe? 4312. 1912. 1912. 1912. Uh, oh, thank oh, you, yeah. Nick. <laughs> 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 Isn't that when the Titanic sank? April. Um, I, I don't know. April 1912. Is it? Maybe. Let's find out. Hey Matt, when did the Titanic sink? It was 1912. April. Yeah. Yep. Uh, oh my God! Matt this says, is yeah. This so. is about the Titanic. <laughs> You know, the Titanic's expedition to the ziggurat of the Sorcerer King. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I begin this... Little known maiden voyage. <laughs> I begin this journal as I prepare for my second ex expedition to the ziggurat of the Sorcerer King. Uh, Neat Uxmal. A full account of my first attempt to excavate the site appears in my journal for 1910, but briefly the excavations which had begun so well ended in failure. We were successful in locating the site, and in our preliminary dig, failed to gain access to the hidden treasure room that was apparently found by the notorious outlaw and adventurer Mad Dog Madigan in the year 1880. That wasn't a joke stone. That was like plot. Wow. That was a that was a that said that on the tombstone. <laughs> hey. Hey. Legend has it. That Madigan found the chamber and meant to return, and that he kept a map that revealed the treasure chamber. How many times I've wished I could find that map if it exists. 
I even visited the site of the town of Revolver Springs where Madigan is said to have been buried, but I was <laughs> unable to locate the old cemetery. <laughs> it's right on the right when you walk in! It's, it's one of the three <laughs> yeah. places in the town. <laughs> <laughs> I've always believed he had the map with him when he died. We're going to have to dig him up, aren't we? Yeah. But I've gotten ahead of myself. The reason the ziggurat of the Sorcerer King is so fascinating is that he, whose name is not recorded anywhere, Voldemort, nearly conquered the whole... I like how he's like, let me tell you why the ziggurat of the Sorcerer King is interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the whole Mayan civilization during his brief and terrible reign. If I'm to prove my theories about the fall of the Mayans, I simply have to find his secret room. I'm now convinced that the mysterious talisman he is said to have used does exist and may be hidden there. As a source of his power, it promises to be a unique example of Mayan art and may tell us a great deal about the dark side of their beliefs. It is no exaggeration to say that my career depends on this discovery. Do you think David Cage played this game before he did Indigo Prophecy? <laughs> Maybe David Cage made this game. Oh my god. <laughs> All my work is pushed <laughs> toward conclusions. It can only be Wait. proved by what I believe is hidden under the cigarette. This was an electronic arts game. <laughs> I've had some trouble getting supplies for the journey to the cigarette, but I think that we'll be ready to leave in the next few days. I cannot really believe that we'll find success this time. I can only try, of course, and perhaps the feeling of doom that oppresses me will vanish once we, get, we begin the expedition. It sounds superstitious, but part of this feeling is due to the loss of my lucky shirt during the last excavation. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? How do you lose your... What? Lose your shirt. In our hurry to get back to the city, I seem to have lost the shirt. What were you doing? Naughty things. I began as lucky after my first few archaeological digs since I was always wearing it when major discoveries were made. I began to wear the shirt all the time and a foolish belief that it was a lucky token and now that it's lost I keep feeling that my luck was lost with it. So... Why is he writing this in his journal? I don't know! It's strange how we can develop these ideas even when we're educated. All I know is that... I'd feel much more hopeful if I could pack that shirt with the rest of my things. <laughs> All the supplies are ready. We've planned to leave for the site of the Sorcerer King cigarette tomorrow morning. There is still a sensation of doom hanging over me because I forgot my lucky shirt. I hope that it eases when I leave the city. But I cannot really believe that our expedition will meet with success. Note to self, buy a journal with larger pages. <laughs> 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 it's about 20 words on each page. Oh, hey, this probably fits right into that right oh. in the middle of the maze. Yeah. I, this, this is not bad when I'm using a walkthrough. <laughs> <laughs> this maze isn't so bad when someone's telling me everywhere to go. I, I really hope that we have to find that guy's lucky shirt for a puzzle <laughs> I, at some yeah, point. Please. That's all I could think about when you were reading that. Please. Oh. We gotta take a shirt. There's gonna be a casino zone. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys good to keep going? It's gonna be right okay. after Green Hill Zone. <laughs> yeah, sure. All right. If you put the lucky shirt on, then get a fortune from the wizard. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fuck. Scronto in the chat says that they played Ziggurat earlier, and that is a pretty good game. Yeah. I've been playing yeah, it recently. I like that game. It's um, like a roguelike quake kind of thing. You're like a shoot man wizard. Yeah. It's kind of like Hexen, I guess. Except not. Mm, bad news. It says in the swap crew that we shouldn't have given Morgan our quarters. <laughs> well, great. Well, let's just keep going until we hit that point, and then I'll do. I'll get back to that point off stream, and we'll finish it. <laughs> <laughs> but it does. We don't need just them. Use the Kalua console to put the quarter in your. God, I wish. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. <laughs> That's really funny. I kind of want to finish this on stream because it's not that long. Um, we could. I mean, if you yeah. use the walkthrough, we can do what you. What I we bet you discovered. Could get back to this point pretty fast. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Yeah, in like just a couple of minutes. Mm -hmm. 
I, I think you should do it now. Do it now? Instead of doing it. Yeah, yeah you can okay. start over. It's just more efficient that way. True. You're right, you're right. Shut okay. up, you dumb clown. Let me get out of here so I can figure out how to slow. <laughs> He's laughing at us because we don't have any quarters. No. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> that's right, we saved. That's good. We don't have to um, watch that. Let me just slide through real quick and see if we can find another quarter somewhere. Because I did save after that, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there are no other quarters throughout all of time. That would be such a jerk move. <laughs> well, he did tell us we would regret giving it to him. I know. And I didn't fucking listen. <laughs> <laughs> it's... It's still a real jerk move. <laughs> it's a real dick move to do that. Yeah. That's probably why they gave you Come two right, quarters. Do you just need one? <laughs> it's pretty funny that we gave him our other one after, right after he was like, "You shouldn't have given me that." We need both quarters way later. Yep. <laughs> oh my god, way later. Well, not way later, but like, it's in the middle of the walkthrough. We were like. A third, maybe? I really hope that you have to put your lucky shirt on and then give him the quarters. No, you put it in a jukebox later and then, um... <laughs> Is it in 1949? Telephone. <laughs> okay, so yeah, let's, um, let's make sure we have both the quarters in our inventory. Alright, now don't let me do anything with the quarters. That's... That's your new job. <laughs> Kelsey's just desperate to give these quarters away to anybody who has. <laughs> it's our job to make sure she doesn't. Ah, that music. The, the, I do like the music. Okay. It almost sounds like an actual, like, orchestral soundtrack. Run through, like... About 50 billion layers of compression. Yeah. <laughs> Go west. Oh yeah, so all we really need to do is go and get that key, and then come back, and then we're, we're basically at the same place we were. So, Nick was right. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of depressing. <laughs> right. <laughs> that we spent an hour wandering around. <laughs> I guess that's kind of the whole point, though. Yeah. Nick, you still there? Uh-oh. I think we did. I muted myself. Oh, hey! And then I forgot <laughs> that I did that. Hi. Hi, buddy! <laughs> Um, I, I was saying, it wasn't wasted. We spent that hour with friends. You're right. <laughs> you're right. That's true. Bing. Hey, human cuts. Yeah, this game's wallpaper. Off the chain. Mmm, quite. Oh, there's a slide puzzle on the wall of the movie theater, but the solution is found elsewhere. Didn't even know that. It should be like there. that weird. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. Bye, let's go. Put some oil on that door. I don't think that we should have to open every door, honestly. 
Oops, no! <laughs> Don't use the quarter! <laughs> Throws the quarters on the ground! <laughs> Buries them in Mad Dog's grave. Look at that shirt more. <laughs> it's probably in the jail cell. Oof, okay. <laughs> that journal was just hysterical. <laughs> oh, we can't go in there again. The Ziggurat of the Sorcerer King. I can't <laughs> with that name. <laughs> ah. Okay, now we're back Sounds to like where I... we were, basically. <laughs> Nailed it. Wait, what does the wanted poster say? Oh, that is the one that says, um, Wild Man Daniel's Fred right or Alive. Alive. Fred or Alive, that's right. <laughs> it's probably a picture of a developer. <laughs> yeah, and his name is Fred Daniels. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he stayed late at the office making that making that <laughs> algorithm to, to scan his face in just like that. <laughs> hey everyone, look what I did last night. Okay, now we gotta just go back to the wardrobe. And open it and get the stuff. We'll it's see. nice that at least it doesn't have to like load each. Yeah, this is... Screen. I wonder if it had a load time on these back then. Oh, probably. Maybe. Be like Riven, switch discs. <laughs> Elevator is a little, a little different than it was before. Mm. I just started doodling clowns. No! For some reason, on this <laughs> on this blank piece of paper in front of me that was supposed to be my map, <laughs> I drew four squares on my map and then just wrote the word bullshit with an arrow point. To it. <laughs> I had like one, two, three, four, five, six. I had seven squares and then like little tiny labels for each of them, and then I just started to become overwhelmed with how much there was. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I could have made it doing a map the whole time. Yeah, it's, um... I really appreciate that there's an actual, like, the game is t keeping track of it for you. Mm. Oh, weird. I was gonna flip through it just in case that made a difference, and um, it was already on the last page, even though we technically <laughs> haven't been here yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little spooky. <laughs> yep. There's some separate file on your computer now that's recording how far into the journal you are. Oh! <laughs> Okay, now we gotta go through the clown maze, and luckily- The file just is the journal. <laughs> and then you'll open it up later, and there's like 300 more pages. <laughs> <laughs> it's like just a plain text file, and if you edit it, whatever you write in it appears in the game. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But. Okay. West, West. Ah. Vote butts, North. and I'll dump in that. <laughs> west, Vote West. Vote for me, and I'll kill that damn clown. <laughs> South. <clears throat> Bottomless pit. That's that's what. I'm for. <laughs> Throw the quarters. Down. Stopped in the middle of that sentence. Uh. Wait, we were supposed to remind you to put the quarters in the machine, right? No! <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. East, east. South. West, west. 
south. Okay. I dig this music. It's my favorite one so far. Dog. We are now in somewhere. Space! Space! We're now in space. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, I don't okay. know if I pushed the right button there, though. Hmm. Oh, wait. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I pressed the button and we wound up in space. I don't know if I... Yeah, I need to in do a it. library. I need to put the card in and do a different button right now. Where did it go? It's not space time yet. I need to get closer. Nonsense. <laughs> sorry, do you? Sorry, you already pressed the wrong button. It's too late now. <laughs> Let's start over. <laughs> Restart the whole game. <laughs> okay, now your quarters got sucked out of your pockets in space. <laughs> okay, we're we're good now. We're good. Now. I'm gonna save. No, that's not the save button. I keep doing that. <laughs> I would just love that the fail state in this game is to just lose your quarters. <laughs> just a variety of ways for your quarters to be lost. Okay, so this also seems to be spacey, but now we're in a museum. The museum of space! Ooh. Oh. New World's Development. A division of Terra Nova Development welcomes you to the Museum on the Moon. We hope you'll find Wait, it. Is that the company that made the game? <laughs> is it? <laughs> Terra Nova Development is the developer of the game. <laughs> oh. Ugh. Uniform security <laughs> guards in each room. The exhibits have been gathered here to enrich the new lunar culture and to protect them from any dangers they might be exposed to on the surface of the Earth. Please don't touch any of the exhibits. Many are rare and fragile and are protected by a sophisticated alarm system. Ancient oh. Earth Artifacts Collection. Oh, maybe his lucky shirt is here! <laughs> <laughs> that would be amazing. I can't believe the developer self-inserted into this... <laughs> The Lunar Awful Settlement is closed game. due to the cost of insurance? Yeah. Ugh. Liability insurance. The sky is not the limit. I hope that was their actual company motto. <laughs> <laughs> this whole game is just fan fiction about their own company. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Are we gonna do this FMV every time? This is a primitive <laughs> music player from around the year 1912, formerly the possession of noted archaeologist Professor. That was the one in the room! Oh, yeah. Professor Garrett carried his gramophone with him on all his expeditions, including his disastrous final visit to the ziggurat of the Sorcerer King. <laughs> near <laughs> near See, he didn't have his lucky shirt. <laughs> as a result. <laughs> near Uxmal in Central America. New World's development takes pride in presenting this artifact, interesting not only as technology, but as a memento of a brilliant if misguided scientist. The gramophone was obtained from Professor Garrett's estate, and WD purchased the entire estate outright, although unfortunately there were no items of archaeological value. I guess because we took them. <laughs> This red unicycle of unknown origin comes from the historical collection of Schwab Robotics. The Schwab group made its fortune in the manufacture of recumbent bicycles and went on to establish itself as the earth's leading developer of robotic machinery. Schwab robots were- I thought you said Schwab Robotics. <laughs> Schwab? Yeah. <laughs> I don't- don't ask me what a Schwab is. I don't know. <laughs> 
Schwab robots were used extensively in the construction of this lunar settlement, the NWD space station, and NWD's terraforming project on Mars. Per per perfectly preserved unicycle it was a bequest from Leo Schwab. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I'm really proud of that cutscene. <laughs> the, <laughs> the origin what? of this interesting female statue is shrouded in mystery. It was discovered in the luggage compartment of a 1993 Morgan Plus 8 Roadster, form formerly the property of the late Bradley W. Schneck. Schneck? A founder of Terra Nova Development, efforts to date the statue have been inconclusive, and its province is as much a mystery as the fact that it could fit in a luggage compartment. No one was in the parking garage of the company when the statue was discovered. Is it a statue? It looks like a wire frame to me. Huh. Oh yeah. This, that looks like something escaped? Apparently this is the only game this company ever made. Display damage. See curator for further information. Stark says, Betcha Brad was lead dev on this game. You're right. <laughs> That's what I was looking up when I found that out. <laughs> the European loot was typically built with a round back and strung with gut. If frets were used on the fingerboard, these were generally short pieces of gut tied in place. The loot is based on Middle Eastern traditional instruments from Iraq, the oud, and Iran, the tambour, although local variations appear throughout the Middle East and Eastern Europe. This fine example is acquired by New World's development. I love how they do that parenthetical every God. time. From the Lachman collection of musical <laughs> instruments to the efforts of Ray Giles. Curator. This game is all about guts. <laughs> We're in the guts of the subway and the guts of the... Uh, table clock. <laughs> uh, Michael... Tornovic. It just sort of turned up in my attic one day. <laughs> okay. Mm, Soviet. It's like it fell through time. <laughs> Woo! Soviet Masaki says apparently it was supposed to be the first game in a series, though it was overshadowed by Mist in the Seventh Guess. Oh, uh, that makes sense. What? <laughs> Musical the thing, swell. That, that logo, oh, just yeah. every time. This one faces on a typical lunar landscape outside the lunar settlement of New World's development. Depending on the time of day, a spectacular earthrise may be visible here. Someday, the entire settlement will be open to the public, including guided tours to the various spectacular landmarks that make the moon a unique vacation spot for the entire family. Until then, please enjoy this simple panoramic view as a taste of things to come. Please refrain from touching the window. We wouldn't want another accident. Oh. <laughs> hey, touch the window. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> touch it. Touch it. Touch the window. Don't move. Oh. It's like a oh. monolith. It's a sweet it's moon <laughs> texture out there. It's a monolith out there. I think it is, yeah. <laughs> Whoa. 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 That was Whoa. a monster. What is? I don't know. Oh, it's okay. I don't uh, want that red lever. <laughs> I'm not gonna fuck with that until I look at the walkthrough again. <laughs> Save and then pull. <laughs> True. That looks like a mystical belt. <laughs> <laughs> it's the WWE Championship belt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saving again. Um, oops. I need to bump the brightness on my phone. Because that's where I'm looking at the walkthrough. Uh, we can pick this up, apparently, but it doesn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I love how many of the few objects you can interact with are just useless. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but your quarters, those are precious. <laughs> Yeah. The game doesn't even tell us that those are a waste of time. <laughs> Throw the red and yellow levers. Don't touch the purple one. 
if, no, what happens if you touch the purple? I don't know, it just says if you do, you'll have a problem. <laughs> I'm gonna save and do it. <laughs> it probably won't do anything right now, but it'll probably screw us over in like... 10, ten five hours, 15 though. days. <laughs> I really love how the knob on the red lever looks like the pupil of a yeah. eyeball uh -huh. of some monster. I have no idea. <laughs> Did we just jettison someone into space? <laughs> well. Oh, I'm gonna reload because that didn't sound good. <laughs> Wait, look around. Like oh yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> you just see a person slowly floating away outside. The lady's. Oh man. Still there. There's nothing else. There's. Let me look at the map. Yeah, we're, we only have so these it, three things. Oh, we're like trapped. Uh -oh. So yeah, I should. Maybe somebody was screaming because they were it, upset that we were trapped in here. Maybe it sounded like some like a some mechanical stuff moved. Yeah. <laughs> Alora exe says, "Did you open the window?" <laughs> <laughs> That's my girlfriend. She's in chat. Hi, Laura. Oh, hello. Uh, where's the reload button? <laughs> Band. No. <laughs> <laughs> oops. Oops. Okay. Ah. I like that the red lever is not the lever that <laughs> does the bad thing. I know. Oops. Yeah. Although, if I had been playing this game when I was like six years old <laughs> in 1993 or whatever, five years old, that would have freaked me out really badly yeah. to hear that. Scream, I probably never would have played it again. Return to the control room and press the green button. You'll be teleported to the library. Mm, I gotta How my... the hell are you supposed to whoa. know that? Oh, whoa, <laughs> the alien belt. Good question, Nick. <laughs> That's why, like... I don't... This is... Life was not good I'm before gonna, Game okay. Facts. <laughs> yeah, for real. I'm gonna take a bold stance here and say that this is not a particularly good video game. <laughs> Digital library! Um, point and click display! It's like we're in a video game. Whoa! It will take several... the future. <laughs> it will take several years to transfer the remainder of human experience to our data banks. Um, That's kind of a cryptic way to phrase that. Yeah. An emergency transporter is available for you south of library terminal. Yoki. Okay. <laughs> uh, ooh, choices. Oh, oh God. Boy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Data destroyed. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> No, we were gonna read all of those. <laughs> oh, Mayan culture no is the only one left. Sorcerer King! The Sorcerer King! <laughs> one. <laughs> one. I, I really don't think Mayans had Sorcerer same, Kings. Same. Uh, I don't know that much about. I mean, like, I haven't studied them extensively, but. One legend of the ancient Maya concerns a powerful sorcerer king who is said to have lived near Uxmal. His name is not known, legend says, because after he was overthrown, his enemies wiped out any reference to him from their records and destroyed all of the monuments the sorcerer king had built during his brief and terrible reign. The sorcerer king seems to have studied the black arts from a master magician, then turned his magical power toward conquest. 
The legends describe a mysterious talisman which the king used to overpower his enemies. The king is supposed to have pointed the talisman at the keystone or foundation stone. Thank you. Of an, em <laughs> of an enemy's palace and the talisman would destroy that keystone. The entire palace would then be destroyed and the king would take over the enemy's territory. That's a very specific uh, <laughs> power. Yeah. <laughs> The last of his enemies are supposed to have joined together and attacked the king unexpectedly. Once helpless, he was sacrificed to his own dark gods. The only scientist to take any of this seriously was Professor Martin Garrett, who had a brilliant early career but wasted his later life in, a, in, a, in an obsession with this ridiculous folktale. After a second unsuccessful attempt to find evidence for his theories at the Mayan ziggurat, or pyramid, that he claimed had been the home of the Sorcerer King, Garrett's reputation was ruined. He was never able to obtain sponsorship for a third expedition, and ended his life in obscurity and shame in 1935. His colleagues did find a number of other ziggurats in the region which had been completely destroyed during the Mayan period, and often jokingly attributed this to Crazy Garrett's Sorcerer King. Rude. Uh -huh. Um, probably nothing else is, yes. I like how that's the only thing left in the archive. I'm sure that's not significant. There was a, that's a lot of stuff for Antarctic history. <laughs> yeah. Kangaroos. Ooh, here's another oh. one. Legend of the Labyrinth. Oh. oh. Uh, King Minos. What if King Minos is the Sorcerer King? <gasps> Ben, spoilers. <laughs> oh, shit. I have no idea. Ooh, alien music. An Athenian named Daedalus was the greatest craftsman of his time. He was forced to flee Athens and become the master builder of Minos' kingdom on Crete. His many invitations came to him the favor of King Minos. The palace at Nausos was equipped with three different systems for running water, drainage, drinking, sewage. Minos's queen, Pasiphae, and her daughters became very fond of Daedalus and often asked him for amusing inventions or for help with their problems. Things continued for a long and happy time. Uh, Greek gods, blah blah blah. Uh, <laughs> large and handsome bull. For the missing part of the story, ask the librarian for the adult password. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> I, uh, so, uh, the Greek gods like to, uh... Do naughty things with animals. <laughs> um, they did. Or as animals. Uh huh. Mm, minus. Uh. Enraged at Daedalus, forced him to build his greatest and most lasting monument, the labyrinth. What did. I, I'll just assume that Daedalus, Daedalus do wrong. messed with the bull or something. Um, Got the horns. <laughs> yeah. Huge and confusing maze, more vast than any maze ever seen, ever, except in fucking King's Quest. <laughs> Ugh. Um. Oh, Daedalus. Right, Icarus was his kid, and right. Yep. Uh, beast with the head of a bull, body of the man who was the son of. Oh, I see what happened there. Wait. <laughs> his kid was Icarus. Oh. Yeah, Daedalus. Ha Daedalus's son was Icarus, and Icarus is the one who flew too close to the sun with his wax wings and burned up. Um, and, and then apparently got the, sealed in the life. The egg, <laughs> is the eggplant wizard in here somewhere? Where do we get to that part? <laughs> is that from <laughs> Kid Icarus? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. Um. Okay, so Minos was was ticked off that his queen and his the wife bull. did the nasty with a bull. Right. Um. Had a baby that was half bull and half man. Gotcha. I didn't know that part of the story. Uh, yeah. Minotaur raged and thundered at the labyrinth's heart, but could not escape. <laughs> Matt Mitchell in the chat says, Minos, enraged that Daedalus wouldn't give him the adult <laughs> 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 Uh Um, Every year, Minos... Then also... Go ahead. Oh, Matt Mitchell earlier said, wait, wait, Antarctic history? <laughs> <laughs> and Habdab says, every entry is just gonna be, shit was icy. <laughs> It was cold. <laughs> uh, mm, tribute of gold and young men and women. These people Minos sent into the labyrinth where they were slain and devoured by the Minotaur. What, what is the point of all this, Minos? <laughs> Daedalus and his son escape from beneath the labyrinth, but that tragic story doesn't concern us now. Oops, I spoiled it. <laughs> um, one of 
these young men was Theseus, heir of the throne of Athens. She swore to help him kill the Minotaur. Theseus was brought to the labyrinth. Adrian gave him a sword. And she carried a magic ball of string! <laughs> to oh, we should have brought string! Why did we bring string? Oh, yeah. Um, Theseus the story's really getting away from them. <laughs> short, wiry prince. There's dancing. He chopped the Minotaur's head off. The Minotaur. And there was an earthquake. And King Minos was ended. When Dante had his, in his vision of the Inferno, King Minos presided over Court of the Dead. Since Court no other poet dead. has ventured there since Dante, it's hard to say <laughs> just what Minos has become. You gotta send another poet down there. Yeah, let's get right on that. Teleporters! <laughs> Ugh. Oh god. Of course the modern day teleporter was invented by New World's development. <laughs> well, of course it was. Uh, A division of Terra Nova de development. Uh, can't forget that. Uh, originally created by the military to be used as space defense ray guns. <laughs> okay. What? Um, we, uh, what? Why don't we move, move on with the game? Okay. <laughs> we're, gonna, like we're gonna read these all night. <laughs> Killed in an early teleporter accident. <laughs> wow. I just wanna make sure there's nothing else. In teleporter and another Riker popped out and it was really awkward. <laughs> Oh, oh, Minos is fucking stuff up. Minos appearing suddenly in the middle of a United Nations conference and somehow <laughs> transporting the security. Oh. Wait. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> to parts of the the UN. Supernatural events involving this King Minos have been reported from all over the world. Death rays. Death He's been causing volcanoes Seer. to erupt. <laughs> Seer in the chat says, Hello, so what's going on in this maze so far? Laura.exe answers, A guy wore the same shirt for ten years. They've said the word ziggurat a lot, and now we're in space. <laughs> That's pretty accurate. <laughs> uh, Minos <laughs> appeared on television. Yep, video phone channels throughout the world and demands that all nations submit to him. Got on Twitter. <laughs> My nose is shit posting everywhere. <laughs> rolling up in everyone's mentions. Uh, among the damage data, I found many references to King Minos as though he has simultaneously appeared in every age of the Earth's history to demand our surrender. Minos posting on Facebook about he's about how he's so sick of that other king that can turn <laughs> shit into gold. Dukes <laughs> <laughs> is such hot shit. <laughs> okay. We'll see who's hot shit after I take over time. <laughs> All right, let's save. I bet he couldn't turn time to gold. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay. The worst part is, people keep walking up to me and saying, Mate, Minos, you're the guy that can touch shit and turn it into gold, right? <laughs> and then I just have to politely sigh and tell them, No, you're thinking of Midas. <laughs> That's a cute <laughs> And Mitchell says, Minos posted a demand for Shenmue, th Shenmue 3 in every age of human existence. Localized Mother 3. Habdub says, of all the mythical figures to make your antagonist, I feel like Minos is reaching. But then again, Maze Game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, these guys had a, a weird fixation on this particular part of Greek mythology. Oh, did I do that? Yeah, okay. Um...
Is that a Dalek? Uh, I think so. <laughs> Button! Oh no, it's purple! <laughs> you turn around and the Dalek just starts yelling, <laughs> UNINSTALL! UNINSTALL! <laughs> ah! Oh god, we broke time. <laughs> I like the sign. <laughs> yeah. It hey, says, watch out. Like, the the oh, rocks yeah? are always falling. <laughs> it says in the wall. I like how the rocks are turning into, like, bit. It looks like they're turning into, like, you know, on uh, Gumby cartoons when they would use, like, little pieces of, like, oh, cellophane yeah. or wax paper to make water. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what it looks like. It is. <laughs> It says in the walkthrough that you can pass this way once and once only without any protective headgear. Okie dokie. You barely avoid getting hit with a rock. Wait. Ooh. T. So, that, that bull is actually from... I, I know this because my husband is an art historian. Mm -hmm. Uh... The, those are actually from, you know, like, uh, Cretan frescoes mm -hmm. and stuff. But they oh. cut the bull out and then stuck it on top of the most hideous pattern <laughs> I <can> possibly <laughs> imagine. That sounds about right for the 90s. <laughs> hey, we're back here. Also, I think in the original fresco, the bull had a giant penis. That doesn't surprise That's... me. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds funny. <about it>, yeah. <laughs> okay, we're in a Cretan palace. I love how much they make you, like, scoot sometimes to get to the I transition. Know. <laughs> Matt Mitchell says Minoans invented wall to wall carpeting. <laughs> One of Daedalus' <laughs> many incredible inventions. Ooh! <laughs> oh. Whoa, look at that sweet axe! Now it's a video game! Alright! <laughs> you take the Lapras. Yeah, that's a name for an axe, I think. I don't know. There are axes in Final Fantasy XIV called Labras, so... <laughs> uh, I think it is, yeah. I'm guessing it's like, uh, yeah. It's a character Steel in Labyrinth. Persona 4 Arena, and she has a huge axe, so... Yeah, well, okay. The door is locked. That's good enough for me. Yeah. Whoa, don't go in there. There's Wu-Tang's in there. <laughs> they ain't nothing to fuck with. Oh yeah, Starix linked Labrys on Wikipedia. Labrys is the term for a symmetric double-headed axe originally from Crete in Greece. Oh. One of the oldest symbols of Greek civilization. To the Romans, it was known as bipenis. <laughs> uh, come again? <laughs> Those Romans were naughty. Uh... The penis? <laughs> Is it? <laughs> um, okay, so this is another big maze, and I'm just gonna fucking follow this east. <laughs> sure. South. <laughs> east. South. South. <laughs> east. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> North. East. South. Take this sweet helmet. Oh man. Nice. I'll go great with our axe. <laughs> You're now wearing the helmet. Can I wear this belt? <laughs> wear the helmet, the belt, and the axe. 
Oh, I can't even wear it. I'm a superhero now. Oh, okay. Um, alright, now I'm gonna, now I'm going north. North. West, west. Man, the, uh... The Minoans had Yanni... The same? Licked before, like, 4,000 <laughs> years. They were... Steps. Matt Mitchell says, I want to hear a recording of Kelsey giving someone driving directions. <laughs> uh, even better, we should record and sell Kelsey uh, giving directions, you know, like one of those like like audio <laughs> yes. fonts you can buy for GPS. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Paint. Okay. Sure. I don't, I don't think they can it came in cans like that. Let's look at that again. Yeah, that's not... <laughs> what the hell? What the fuck is that can? It looks like a yo-yo. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a paint brand yo-yo. You're gonna, you're gonna open that up and like... Those springy snakes are gonna pop out of it. <laughs> <laughs> you die. <laughs> it, Actual snakes. The walkthrough says it's one of the most important of all the objects in the labyrinth. <laughs> of course it is. Okay, we're in a 1950s diner now. <laughs> the jukebox! Oh yeah. This Our time is come. But we're not supposed to use it yet! Oh really? So if, yeah. if you use it now, are we it, screwed? It literally, it's in giant letters. Do not attempt to use it yet. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Every person would come into this room and be like, Oh, I have a quarter! <laughs> Everyone ever would do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. God, this game is mean. <laughs> Fuck this game. Telephone. Uh, Jones, comma, ice cream says, Labrys was also a common symbol of lesbians, feminists, and general lady strength. And self-sufficiency. Sweet. That's that follows because it was also a, a common symbol of uh, uh, lady gods in in Greece. Also, that makes me really happy because <laughs> my uh, marauder, my warrior in Final Fantasy fourteen, is a a oh, giant yeah. green queer lady. Nice. And she uses she an is. axe, and the symbol the symbol for the warrior is totally a Labrys. That's perfect. <laughs> Matt Mitchell and Chad says, wait, did I just black out and we were in a diner? Nope, that's just the Labyrinth just of can't. Time. Okay, now we use our quarter. Hello? Oh, oh. jackpot! <laughs> <laughs> what? Did we just turn our quarter into, like, Five nickels. Actually, that's way more than five. What the fuck? How many quarters do we have now? One. <laughs> what? Take the reward. Oh, it's by oh, the tray. Okay. Take the quarters. Wow. Fourteen quarters. Let's save that game. <laughs> Damn. It's three and a half we dollars. Got <laughs> I'm glad you said that before I finished my sentence because I was about say? to say we got seven bucks <laughs> <laughs> I I can do this like the math is really good alright now we can do the, this I don't know why we couldn't before but... and use some of our enormous wealth to power this jukebox What, why is the coin slot on the bottom of the jukebox? I have no idea. <laughs> make an ass out of yourself every time you want to put it in. We took the silver key. key. What? Oh. 
Okie dokie. <laughs> I swear to God, if that opens that prison cell. It probably does. Oh, Jones Kama Ice Cream points out that Marceline's bass guitar is a Labrys too. I Marceline from uh, Marceline. Adventure Time. <laughs> Alright, to catch is up it, on is it a time. order to open the door? To the bathroom, yeah. What? This is like me and Roller Coaster Tech. <laughs> 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 They'll pay if they have to pee bad enough. <laughs> <laughs> Free soda, but the bathroom's a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> They'll actually only... That's how you get them. They'll only pay a dime to use the bathroom. You're gonna lose money on those either way. <laughs> <laughs> Just an <laughs> FYI. <laughs> Lure him in there at those free balloon stands. <laughs> Hedge maze! Oh, it's a maze in a maze! And, uh, this is just on the nose. <laughs> Come on. Okay, north, north. Cheeky. East, east, north. What? <laughs> Fuck. What? Uh, I'm gonna load that. You blew it. I think I didn't read that right. Man, I really want you to click one of those other buttons and just play Choo Choo Rocket. <laughs> it's a mini game. Choo Choo Rocket. You, I don't, I don't, I can't speak Japanese, so I can't sing the rest of that song. <laughs> This is either close to the train station or they're just super proud of their brick texture. I'm gonna write this down. What? This looks important. Seven. Matt Mitchell says, that looks like a hedge maze made of maze, which would be a corny choice. Oh my god! Man <laughs> <laughs> uh, after my own heart. <laughs> Banned. <laughs> Time out. This is the solution <laughs> for the slide puzzle back in the theater. <laughs> there was a slide puzzle in the theater? Apparently. Now you have to walk back through the hedge maze diner, medieval maze, and Cretion Hall. Great. Okay. Or we could stop playing this game. <laughs> yes, but I do want to finish it. But we could stop playing for now. <laughs> okay. I'm We're in this running out of patience. Now. Yeah, no, that's fine. <laughs> uh, that's fair. <laughs> You're not even the one playing. <laughs> I know. It speaks volumes. Thank you for joining us, everyone. This has been the Labyrinth of Time. My name is Kelsey. You can find me at kelsey713.rocks and at nerdybutflirty.com. We've been having E3 coverage all week. Go check it out. Nick, where can we find you? Uh, my name is Nick Scratch. You can find me at nickscratch.ch. That spells Nick Scratch. Ba -da -bum. <laughs> and Ben, where can we find you? Uh, I'm on Twitter at Foben and pretty much everywhere else says Foben. Sweet. You can find Stream Friends on the internet at streamfriends.tv, twitch.tv slash streamfriends, and at streamfriends on Twitter. Have a good night, everyone. Bye! Good night. Bye! Thanks for hanging out! <laughs>